How to Green Chemistry Guides, Organizing a Field Trip. First decide, who's going? Are you looking for chemistry majors only or will the event content be accessible to all students? If you're not sure what locations are good to visit, ask chemistry faculty members about nearby facilities. They may be aware of green chemistry initiatives at local labs, successful past trips to LEED certified buildings, or companies that have employed alumni. If you still have no luck, try an online search with green chemistry plus your state. You might be surprised at the number of results. Confirm the location of the trip before advertising, but if you want people to go, do advertise. When scheduling a tour, be prepared to provide an estimate of group size and expected length and date of your visit. Of course, reconfirm the time and date a couple of days before you actually go. You can also ask about the possibility for any hands-on activities, and make sure you stress that you're specifically there to learn about green chemistry. You can ask what programs they're excited to share with you, too. If you think the group going is going to be interdisciplinary, it's good to let the facility know so they can tailor their tour. Help your host as much as possible to make it a good experience for everyone involved. You might be worried about getting people to sign up or about no-shows. Try adding incentives. Talk to professors about giving extra credit or require a small deposit that's refundable upon attendance. Keep your attendance in the know via email. What should they bring, like snacks or money or closed-toed shoes if you're visiting a lab? Do you have a cancellation policy in place? We hope you have fun and can't wait to see where green chemistry takes you.